In Bowie County, frantic 911 calls and emotional testimony during the Taylor Parker trial today. NBC 6's Donald Britton has the latest from the courthouse. Donald joins us now live. Good evening. Good evening, Dan and Jackie. Reagan Hancock's widower, Homer Hancock, was the last to take the stand today and was what was already a difficult day of testimony for friends and family. Hancock broke down several times during his testimony. He said Taylor was at his house the night before the murder visiting with Reagan. He says Reagan wasn't up when he left for work the next day, but he started getting strange texts from her. He said it didn't sound like her. A short time later, a neighbor sent him a message telling him their puppy was out and the garage door was open. He knew something was wrong and tried to call Reagan several times, but she never answered. He rushed to their new Boston home from Texarkana. When he arrived, the crime scene tape was already up and he wasn't allowed inside. That's when he learned his wife was dead. He says he hasn't been back since, except to get his things. The defense did not have any questions for Homer Hancock. Prosecutors showed a picture from the house of a white snake print croc shoe in the Hancock home. It looks exactly like the bloody pair Parker was wearing when she was pulled over. The jury also saw video of that traffic stop where Parker was seen holding a lifeless baby in her lap. She was very upset and refusing to go to Titus Regional Medical Center or cross Christus St. Michael in Texarkana, but instead Ida Bell, Oklahoma. Now Taylor claims she gave birth while driving. Prosecutors also played the frantic 911 calls from both Parker and Reagan's mother on the day of the murder. Now you can find all those details and more on our website at ktlnews.com. Reporting in Bowie County, Texas, Donald Britton, NBC6 News.